What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here, I'd like to welcome you guys back to Vampire. Hope you guys are enjoying this let's play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. Without any further ado though, let's get into the next video. Okay, so let's go and take me to a hospital. Wait, what's going on here? Rotten each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. What did you do to him? <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Oh wait, the blood quality indicates... To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them. Do I have to do it? This is where we embrace him. Provide a massive experience, but be aware that there will be consequences. I think I might release him. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. So that's completely optional. You could do that your enti the entire game like that, but you'll be a lower level. But I let him go. Because apparently, like, everything has consequences, so... It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. So, I'm gonna... Basically what he's saying is I will have to feed eventually. But it... It's gotta be the right... Whoa, what's going on here? It's gotta be the right person. You know, I feel... I won't feel so bad taking the life of a douche. He wasn't that much of a douche. I don't know what he did to that person or why, but... Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but... How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. 
He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Is that all we have so far? Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. All right, let's go. What's up with you, man? Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Okay, um... Don't have the hints for this guy yet, so that's all we Goodbye, can say. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I don't want to go around too much. Let's. I think we should enter the hospital oh, now. Doctor, it's freezing here. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? 
Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. All right, let's go Thank do you, that. Nurse Crane. Okay. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. They're upstairs. I could talk to literally everybody, but rest to evolve. I got a bit of experience, but not a hell of a lot. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. All right, Relegated workbench. to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Thank God, right? All right. This is blood, right? Analyze. So light regeneration serum. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. First thing I gotta the do is take a nap. is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. Damage inflicted, let's do that, I'd say. Hunter damage. I can do another one if I wanted. 150, or I could spend more on health. I'm gonna do that, health seems important. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash DanQ8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, DanQ8000. Instagram, DanQ8K. And Snapchat, DanQ8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my shop in the description below. If you want to save 10% off your next DX Racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code DanQ8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need spotlight and hit Q8000. Wait a minute, hold that style and style, Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they gon' need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash to bed intruder. Got that Glock and got them woofers, just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools, keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never, ever a game.